हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू दी कोर्स फिजिक्स प्रिंसिपल्स एंड एप्लीकेशंस आई एम डॉक्टर अमोल राणे वेलकम्स यू टू टूडेज लेक्चर फॉर एफ वाई बी एस सी फिजिक्स पेपर टू सेमिस्टर वन सो वी आर स्टडिंग दी फिफ्थ चैप्टर एप्लीकेशंस ऑफ इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक वेव्स इन द टूडेज लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी दी applications of electromagnetic waves as x-ray radiography and ct scan so let us study what are electromagnetic waves so electromagnetic waves are waves that are created as a result of vibrations between an electric field and a magnetic field uh, in other words the waves are composed of oscillating magnetic and electric field so this is the typical electromagnetic spectrum we all know this electromagnetic spectrum that i will move let us study the applications of the electromagnetic waves so first application is x ray radiography x rays are high energy electromagnetic waves of frequency 10 to 18 hertz and having very short wavelength ranging nearly from 10 to minus 11 to 10 to minus 8 meter they are have high penetrating power so x rays they are having high penetrating power right so they just come uh, after the uh, gamma rays right so gamma rays are having highest penetrating power in electromagnetic radiations right so x rays or uh, radiography uses a very small dose of ionizing radiation to produce pictures of the body's internal structures so x rays are the oldest and most frequently used form of medical imaging so in it is used in the medical imaging techniques so they are often used to help diagnose fractured bones look for injury or in infection and to locate foreign objects in soft tissue right some x ray exams may use an iodine based contrast material or barium to help improve the visibility of specific organs blood vessels tissues or bone radiography is an imaging technique using x rays gamma rays or uh, similarly similar ionizing radiation and non ionizing radiation to view the internal form of an object right so this is definition of radiography inside the radi x ray radiography we use x rays right so applications of radiography include medical radiography that means diagnostics and therapeutic use and industrial radiography right so there are two types one is the medical radiography and another one is industrial radiography right similar techniques are used in airborne airport security where body scanners generally use back scattered x rays right so to create an image in conventional radiography a beam of x rays is produced by an x ray generator and is protected uh, is projected towards the object a certain amount of x rays or other radiation is absorbed by the object dependent on the object's density and structural composition the x rays that pass through the object are captured behind the object by a detector either photographic film or a digital detector right so the generation of flat two dimensional images by this technique is called projectional radiography right so in the projectional radiography what we will have a flat two dimensional image will be generated and that is called as projectional radiography right so in this technique we have the uh, let's say the uh, patient will be uh, either it he will be standing or he will be sleeping on the uh, this table right and inside on the back side of the patient the x ray detector will be placed right and the x ray generator will generate the x rays and x ray beam will be passed on the patient's uh, body and that will the uh, some part of the radiation that will be absorbed by the bones right so remaining will be passed to the detector right so detector may be a, a photographic plate or a digital detector so we'll get a radiograph right so this kind of structure we can see right x ray machines are used in healthcare for visualizing bone structures during surgeries especially orthopedic surgeries 
to assist surgeons in reattaching broken bones with screws or structural plates assisting a cardiologist in locating blocked arteries and guiding stent placements or performing angioplasties and for other dense tissues such as tumors non medicinal applications include security and material analysis right so these these are some uh, applications that we'll see so this is the uh, industrial radiography In inside the industrial radi radiography what we have the x ray source or x ray tube right so we know the coolidge tube that will produce the x rays that x rays will be incident on the metal or uh, that uh, sample in, uh, whatever let's say metals will be there so in, in order to detect any cracks or fractures inside the metals so we will incident so in order to detect any cracks or fractures in the ma metals will incident x rays on the it and the uh, <coughs> transmitted x rays they will be uh, received by the uh, detector right so the uh, on the detector the uh, the photographic film will be placed and it will create the 2d picture of the received x rays right so this is industrial radiography so let us study the production of x rays so we know the x rays are produced uh, uh, inside the coolidge tubes right so filament is a cathode of the tube right as it is heated up the increased energy enables electrons to be released from the filament through thermionic emissions right so thermionic emission is the process that means the cathode will be heated right and uh, filament will be heated and it that filament uh, we, uh, where the we can say the electrons will be ejected from the cathode right so the electrons are attached towards the positively charged anode so electrons are attracted towards the positively charged anode and hit the tungsten target with a maximum energy determined by the tunnel potential tube potential the electrons are attracted towards the positively charged anode and hit the tungsten target with a maximum energy determined by the tube potential right or voltage so we know that uh, the uh, uh, electrons are negatively charged so they will be attracted towards the positively charged anode right and they will hit the target so that target is made up of tungsten right so anode is made up of tungsten material right so as the electrons bombard the target they interact so interactions will result uh, in the conversion of energy into heat right 99% of the energy will be converted into heat and x-ray photons so 1% energy will be converted into uh, the x-ray photons right the x-ray photons are released in a beam with a range of energies so x-ray spectrum will be there out of the window and of the tube and form the basis of x-ray image formation so a spectrum of x-ray will be emitted from the window of the tube so what are the uses of this x-ray radiography technique so in medicine we use the main field in which x-ray machines are used in medicine are radiography radiotherapy and fluoroscopic type of procedures radiography is generally used for fast highly penetrating images and is usually used in uh, areas with high bone content but can also be used to look the tumors such as with mammography imaging some forms of radiography also include identifying fractures or cracks or breaks or infections in bones or teeth diagnose, diagnosing cavities and evaluating structures in the mouth and jaws picking up on signs of joint changes that indicate arthritis using a special type of x-ray image called as arthrogram revealing uh, tumors or on bones measuring bone density as a means of diagnostic osteoporosis finding evidence of pneumonia tuberculosis or lung cancer in chest x-rays right so in medical applications we also use examining breast tissue for signs of cancer using special x-ray technique called as mammography right so mammography is used to examine the blood breast cancer right looking for signs of heart failure or changes in blood flow of the lungs and hearts revealing problems in the digestive tract such as kidney stones 
sometimes using a contrast medium called as barium so barium is sometimes most of the times barium material is used which is a contrast agent when the x rays will be incident uh, on this barium it will be reflected back from the barium right and therefore uh, where bones are uh, not there so inside stomach or in the digestive tract uh, we have uh, when we want to detect any uh, defects inside this digestive tract such as kidneys or intestines then the barium material will be given to the uh, patients and when the x-rays will be incident on this, uh, this stomach of the patient the barium inside the uh, uh, digestive tracts they will reflect uh, back the x-rays to the uh, we can say receiver and therefore one can detect the any defects or any such problems inside the digestive tracts right so locating uh, swallowed items such as coin or tiny toys can be easily detected by x-rays right so we know the metals are they are reflecting the x-rays right so x-ray tomography or ct scans is used to scan the body in different sections so ct scan application that uses x-rays that we will see in the this lecture only x-ray ortho uh, pantomogram is used to detect the disease in teeth right in fluoroscopy imaging of the digestive tract is done with the help of radio contrast agents such as barium sulfate that which is opaque to x-rays right so x-rays we, we already seen this barium sulfate so radiotherapy the uses of x-ray radiation to treat malignant and benign uh, cancer cells or non-imaging applications right so almost every airport is now fitted with some form of x-ray security system that scans baggage to check for dangerous items in the past few years full body x-ray scans have also emerged as an additional security measure right so on the airports we use this kind of uh, system so we uh, the we can we pass through the uh, this x-ray scanners full body scanners and when we will pass through this it will detect any uh, objects dangerous objects will be there or we uh, we have this x-ray package uh, scanner where the bags are passed through this scanner right and any uh, the damages uh, any uh, dangerous items inside the package that will be easy, easily detected so right for security applications uh, again x-rays are also used to inspect good and other packaging products right x-rays are used at customs post of detection of contraband goods like explosive opm etc concealed in leather or wooden cases in examining content of parcels without opening them and in the uh, direction of precious metals like gold and silver in the body smugglers they are used in distinguishing real diamonds and parts from artificial ones pure ghee from vegetable oil so they are using various applications right in industries x-rays are employed in industry to detect defects in motor tires golf and tennis balls wood and wireless walls and testing the presence of pulse in oysters right so in the scientific research also they are used so x-rays have been used in to investigate the structure of crystals structure and properties of atoms and uh, arrangement of atoms and molecules in matter right so we uh, we use this x-ray x-rays in scientific applications also right let us now move to another applications that is uh, CT or CAT scans right so CT means computer tomography or computer axial tomography scan right it is sometimes called also called as computer aided tomographical scan right so CAT scan means computerized axial tomography also called as computer aided tomography or computer tomography so it is ct scanning or cat scanning so is a special x-ray test that produce cross sectional image of the body using x-rays and a computer right so we will make the cross section images of the body whereas in the normal x-ray radiography what we have we get a 2d image right 
of the object but here we will get a cross sectional image that means we will get a cross sectional slices uh, of the body parts we can easily scan right ct was developed independently by a british engineer named sir godfrey housefield and dr alan cormack it has become a mainstay for diagnosing medical diseases for their work housefield and cormack were jointly awarded the nobel prize in 1979 ct scanners first began to be installed in 1974 CT scanners have vastly improved patient comfort because a scan can be done quickly improvements have led to higher resolution images which assist the doctor in making a diagnostics for example the CT scan uh, can help uh, doctors to visualize small um, nodules or tumors which they cannot see with a plain film x-rays right in computer tomography or ct scanning an x ray source and its associated detector rotates around the subject which itself moves through the conical x ray beam produce any object point within the ob subject is crossed from many directions by many different beams at different times information regarding attenuation of these beams is collected and subjected to computation to generate two dimensional images in three planes that is axial coronal and sagittal which can be further processed to produce a three dimensional image so this is a typical ct scan machine used to detect the of, uh, any uh, anomalies in the patient so the patient is uh, passed Uh, inside this the chamber so this is a uh, circular uh, ring shaped uh, ct scan right so in inside the detector and x ray uh, source they will move uh, they will be continuously rotating throughout the patient and therefore it can uh, take the uh, picture of the uh, we can say coaxial picture of the patient's body right so there are certain facts related to this ct scans so ct scan images allows the doctor to look at the inside of the body just as one would look at the inside of a loaf of bread by slicing it right so if we uh, slice the bread so just like the doctor can see uh, the patient's body right this type of special x ray is a sense takes pictures of slices of the body so doctors can look right at the in area of interest right CT scans are frequently used to evaluate the brain, neck, spine, chest, abdomen, pelvis and sinus sinuses, right? CT is a commonly performed procedure. Scanners are found not only in hospital x-ray departments but also in outpatient offices. CT has revolutionized medicine because it allows doctor to see diseases that in the past could also could often not be found at surgery. or any autopsy ct is non invasive safe and well tolerated it provides a highly detailed look at many different parts of the body if one looks at a standard x ray image or radiograph such as a chest x ray it appears as if they are looking through the body ct and mri are similar to each other but provide a much different view of the body then the x ray nodes right so in mri the magnetic uh, field will be used right so ct and mri produce cross sectional images that appears to open the body up right allowing the doctor to look at it from the inside so mri uses a magnetic field and radio waves to produce images whereas ct uses x rays to produce images right so in mri what we use radio waves and uh, magnetic field whereas in the ct uh, scan what we will use x rays right to produce images plain x rays are an inexpensive quick test and are accurate at diagnos at diagnosing uh, things such as pneumonia arthritis and fractures ct and mri better to evaluate soft tissues such as the brain liver and abdominal organs as well as to visualize subtle abnormalities that may not be apparent or on regular x-ray test right 
people often have ct scans to further evaluate an abnormality seen on another test such as an x-ray or an ultrasound they may also have a ct to check the specific symptoms such as pain or dizziness people with cancer may have a ct to evaluate the spread of disease right a head or brain ct is used to evaluate the various structures of the brain to look for a mass stroke area of bleeding or blood vessel abnormality in the brain it is also sometimes used to look at the skull a neck ct checks the soft tissues of the neck and it frequently used to study a lump or mass in the neck or to look for enlarged lymph nodes or glands ct of the chest is frequently used to further study an abnormality on a plain chest x-ray it is also often used to look for enlarged lymph nodes abdominal abdominal and pelvic ct looks at the abdominal and pelvic organs such as liver spleen kidneys pancreas and adrenal glands and the gastrointestinal tract these studies are often ordered to check for a cause of pain and sometimes to follow up an abnormality seen on another test such as an ultrasound a sinus ct exam is used to both diagnose sinus disease and to detect a narrowing or obstruction in the sinus drainage pathway so sinus is an uh, organ that is means uh, that is placed inside our head right just like just uh, behind the nose and uh, eyes right below the eyes right so sinus where the uh, nose fluid will be produced right a spine ct test is mostly commonly a spine ct test is most commonly used to detect a herniated disc or narrowing of the spinal canal spinal stenosis in people with neck arm back and or leg pain it is also used to detect a fracture or break in the spine right so cardiac means that is related to heart a ct scan of the heart is performed to gain knowledge about the cardiac or coronary right so these are the applications right so it is useful to obtaining images of soft tissues the pelvis lower part of the trunk of the human body between the abdomen and the thighs right uh, blood vessels lungs brain right abdomen bones so it is used in various applications so what are the advantages of ct scan right so there are several advantages of ct over Uh, two dimensional medical radiography ct completely eliminates the superimposition of images of structures outside the area of interest right because of the inherent high contrast resolution of ct difference between tissues that differ in physical density by less than 1% can be distinguished right during ct imaging an x ray tube rotates around the patient so that multiple images are collected from many angles these images are stored in a computer that analyzes them to create a new image with the overlying structures removed right so ct images allow radiologist and other physicians to identify internal structures and see their shape size density and texture this detailed information can be used to determine if there is a medical problem as well as the extent and exact location of the problem and other important details the images can also show if no abnormality is present rapid acquisition of images a wealth of clear and specific information a view of a large portion of the body right these are some of the advantages of ct scan or cat scan right so that is computer uh, computerized axial tomography or computer tomography or computer aided tomography right so uh, in the today's lecture we have studied the different applications of electromagnetic waves like x ray radiography and ct scan in detail right in the next lecture we will study the solar shell uh, uh, application in detail thank you